Welcome back, Regal Smith here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make these moisturizing lip balms and also an exfoliating sugar scrub that gently exfoliates dry lips and then you hydrate it with these balms and it's gonna leave your lips kissably soft all year round. And this is my final video, number five, in my DIY gift making series where I teach you how to make DIY gifts using essential oils. So lip balms are so easy and inexpensive to make. They feel luxurious, great to throw in stockings, uh, in gifts, or just to make them all year round. So all you need to make your lip balms are three things. We need just regular coconut oil, equal parts, and I have all the measurements written up in my blog linked below, so you don't have to write them down, but I'm gonna make, I think, six tubes. So I need one tablespoon coconut oil melted, measure it melted, one tablespoon of beeswax, I like to use the little pellets because they melt much faster, much easier than grinding your own beeswax. And then one tablespoon of either shea butter or coconut butter. You can use either, or I actually like to use both. So I'll use half a tablespoon of each. And I find that the shea butter is really moisturizing and then the cocoa butter has some other properties. It smells a little bit like chocolate and combined. I love these two, but you don't have to buy both of them. If you only have one, just use one tablespoon of shea butter or cocoa butter. Now what you're going to do is melt those together in what I call a melt jar. So I have over here a pot of boiling water and I melted that down. It only takes a couple minutes. It melts pretty quickly. And once we have our moisture, our mixture mostly melted, so it's all the way melted, and that's just called a double boiler. Um, and I do it in this jar because your beeswax will leave this residue and it's really hard to get out of a measuring cup. It would be much easier to make this in a measuring cup and pour it into the little tubes, but this works. And so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring you down and let you show what I'm mixing in here. And we're gonna pour it into these little lip balm tubes. So I think this should make about six of them. I've made this many, many times and a lot of times I'm only just making two or a small number, but I think this should make about six. You're gonna add optional, but I like to add vitamin E oil. You can add capsules or the liquid. It just helps to preserve your lip balms. It also has some nice skin smoothing properties. You wanna add this in your essential oils after everything's melted because they're pretty heat sensitive. So I would say for the mixture we're doing now, I would use about three quarters of a teaspoon and you don't have to measure it, just kind of estimate about three quarters, it's pretty thick. And if you're using the capsules, I would say maybe three of these. And you can use vitamin E alone on your lips too, it's really nice feeling. And then for essential oils for these tubes, this size tube, I like to use about two drops of super mint per tube. So I'm gonna add in here about 12 drops of essential oil Supermint is a nice combination of peppermint, has Japanese mint, bergamot mint, and spearmint. You could also use just spearmint. You could use just peppermint. You could also use the doTERRA vanilla, uh, but this is a much milder, milder oil, so you'd probably have to use a little bit more, but I'm gonna do, I think 12 drops. That's about two per tube. Ooh, this smells so good. 9, 10, 11, 12, there you go, okay. And then I'm gonna pour them into these little tubes. These are kind of fun, you can use plain white. I found these rainbow tubes, I'll link them on my blog. They're just rainbow colors. My daughter asked if she could make some of these for her friends and she wanted each friend to have a different color tube. And then also if you're making these for your family, each person can have their own color. I will tell you though, it is much more challenging to pour this into these colored ones than the white ones because you can't quite see when it's full. So if it's a little messy and pours over the edge, that's okay. I might overflow these. The white ones are much easier to pour, but we just do our best. I put seven out. I think I will only need six, but get your materials laid out beforehand because this wax does start to set up rather quickly. These don't need very much time to sit. They'll probably be ready to put the lids on. I would say maybe 15 or 20 minutes or so. So you can definitely make these one night and have them be ready. You could be with girlfriends and having a little gathering and they'll be ready to go. Here we go. Ooh, this smells so good. Okay, I think I have enough for one more, which will be number six. Okay, 
So that made exactly six for me. Sometimes the tubes are different sizes, so you might have to play around with it, but that made about six for me. And then another option too, if you don't wanna use the tubes, you can use these little, these little, um, I don't know what you call them, but little lip balm containers. I'll also link these in case you prefer these. These are nice if you're making them with a group of people and each person wants their own flavor because what you can do is do that mixture like I showed you and then just drop whatever oil you want in here. Just one, maybe two drops. These will make more. I would say this recipe would probably make, oh gosh, maybe 15 of these little circle ones and then this one's gonna make, well, yeah, probably 15 of the little circle ones and then you're gonna get six of the tubes. But that's a fun way to customize them. I do prefer the tubes because the little ones, you have to put your little fingers in there and stir them, but it still works. So it's kind of up to you, your preference. But these smell so good and they're really, really moisturizing. You could add more co coconut oil if you like it a little bit silkier. You could add more beeswax if you want it a little bit more solid and kind of go from there. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you how to make is how to make this lip sugar scrub. Now, this recipe is directly from doTERRA's website. It's very easy. It smells delicious. I've made it with girlfriends and they, they absolutely love it. So a lip sugar scrub is similar to our body sugar scrubs, which I've shown you how to make in this series. You can use sugar or salt for a body scrub. This is going to be designed specifically for your lips. And what you're gonna do doTERRA uses brown sugar, so they do four teaspoons of brown sugar, but I didn't have brown sugar, so I just used what I had. This will work too, so just regular cane sugar. And then you add one teaspoon, excuse me, not one teaspoon, one tablespoon of the melted coconut oil. So I already melted it in the microwave. So one teaspoon of that. And then I'm gonna add to that jar one tablespoon of honey. This honey is from my friend Mary. Her husband's a beekeeper. I love to get the local honey when we can. And so one tablespoon of that. And I'll also have the measurements for this in the blog link below. But it was four teaspoons of brown sugar or regular sugar, one tablespoon each of that melted coconut oil, and one tablespoon of the honey. Now I'm gonna mix this mixture up. And for the oils, you can add a number of things. You could add, doTERRA recommends two drops of wild orange. If you use the wild orange, you wanna use it only at night though, because if you use it in the day, citrus oils can make your skin more photosensitive for about 12 hours. So we don't wanna put that on our lips and go right in the sun. But if you do it at bedtime, that'd be perfect. Um, I like it with super mint. So I like it with about four drops of Supermint and that's the recipe that I'll put for you up on the blog. Or what I'm actually gonna make right now, I'm kind of feeling vanilla. So I'm gonna do some of doTERRA's vanilla. And this vanilla, I don't know how many drops, I would say at least four because the vanilla is a little bit more mild. So just add the drops and then you can taste it. Well, you could taste it, but you can try it and see if it's the right aroma for you. Now this is right off of doTERRA's recipe, their website, and to me it looks a little bit soupy. So I might actually add a little bit more sugar to mine, and it might be because I use regular sugar and not brown sugar. So once you have the consistency that you like, you can package this up in little jars. I've used little tiny Nutella jars. I've, need, I've used the like honey and jam jars that sometimes you get at restaurants or at hotels. Um, you can just use a, a jar like this, whatever you have, little containers. And then once you have the consistency that you want, just package it up and the way you use it, this honey makes it really moisturizing. And so you just put it on your lips like this and gently kind of exfoliate any dead skin cells. Oh my gosh, I got a little bit on my tongue. It tastes so good. And everything in there is edible, so you could eat it if you wanted, but. And so then you just kind of get all those little dead skin cells off. And then very gently, you just kind of wipe it off. Great thing to do before bed. And then just top it off. 
with your lip balm. So let me know if you've made this before, if you're excited to make it, what oils you wanna put in yours. And then if you need the recipe, go ahead and check out my blog or any other DIY recipes. I have my five part DIY gift making series with essential oils. You can check out my playlist on YouTube, which I'll link above and below. And also if you need any doTERRA oils at 25% off retail at wholesale pricing, you can also find those on my website at blissmama.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.